the sports world. It is the richest harness race in the world, handicap race that is, standing start, the AG Hunter Cup, $450,000. And if Australia beat the New Zealanders at the Thoroughbred yesterday with O'Reilly being beaten by Mulwad, it didn't happen last night in harness racing. To join us, Neil Donnelly. It was a big night for New Zealand, an aptly named surprise package winning, Neil. Yes, it was, Bruce. Good morning to you. Uh, it was a fantastic night at Mooney Valley. They packed them in. Uh, as you said, the Kiwis, as they have been the last few years in harness racing, were too good for us. Boy, they love the two-mile stuff. Uh, we don't run too many two-mile races here at Mooney Valley, in fact, anywhere in Australia. They were too good, too strong, and what a training triumph for Barry Purden, who made it back-to-back -back Hunter Cups. Vix Vance last year, when he uh, terrified the bookies, there was, no, uh, there was no bookie terrifying this year, but he certainly got the money and a remarkable drive also from Tony Hurley. And the training performance, this horse hadn't run for six weeks and yet he was able to get him fit, bring him from New Zealand, bring him here and win uh, over two miles, uh, probably the toughest race in Australia and uh, hadn't had a run for six weeks. Yeah, Bruce, I saw him uh, race in New Zealand Cup Week, which was in November last year. And to be honest, he went third in the Cup, but had every possible chance it was disappointing and very pertinent. Uh, at that stage, I think he realised that the horse had leg problems and they, they made extensive tests on the horse, discovered he had severe arthritis in both knees. Um, so Barry completely changed his training routine. He started swimming the horse extensively. That worked because he ran an unlucky third in the Auckland Cup on New Year's Day. Uh, raced a few days later on January the 3rd in a free-for-all, was unlucky again when he ran fifth to Brabham at Alexandra Park in Auckland. Hasn't raced since at... Uh, it's a remarkable mm. preparation for what is, as you say, I think probably the toughest race in Australia. Well, the favourite was Iroclees. We're going to pick it up with just over a lap to go, Neil. Iroclees is at the back. Uh, surprise package comes out three wide at the bell. Uh, took up Anvil Star, who was the runner-up. It's quite a remarkable race in the fact that surprise package, with about 400 to go, appears to get checked, looks completely out of the race, then gets through inside Anvil Star. Iroclees, there he is there, number 14. Gee... God, you're entitled to do something. Um, is this bloke a good driver? I mean, the Miracle Mile was ordinary. He got away with it. And last night, the horse was never in the race. Yeah, I, I, th I think uh, he'll be criticised for his drive last night. And I think rightfully so, too. Surprise package, for those who haven't seen this before, is the first of the three wide line. He's up running uh, third outside the leaders. Um, yeah, I was very surprised that Eric Lee is still not being put in the race. I mean, he ran unbelievable sectionals last night. He ran his last half 56-3 three, four and five wide um, he's and he's there, he's yeah. getting a check there, still running third last. And I what, mean, what's the prize package here? Just about to get checked, uh, he's in third place, fourth, now he looks to almost gallop now, let's, we'll let Danny bring them home, uh, the caller, but he looks out of it here, surprise package, it was a huge performance. Being collared by Anvil Star. They turn for home together. Sovereign Hill runs on. Surprise package can't go on. Eric Lee's the widest runner with desperate comment. Anvil Star in front. Coming in at Sovereign Hill. Eric Lee's is flying. Anvil Star in front. Trying hard. Surprise package on the rail. They hit it. Surprise package won the cup. Surprise package has come through. Amazing, Neil. It was. I mean, you There's really... a photo, by the way. Yeah. You just showed how close Eric Lee's was out wide. Well, you wouldn't believe him. I mean, when he turned around the home turn, he was, he was out looking for a hot dog, wasn't he? He was certainly that close to the stall. Um, and you can't blame Dan Malicki for saying surprise package can't go on because three or four horses had passed him. He looked gone on a spent force. Um, Tony Hurley, as I've said here before on Sports World, Bruce, over the years, is one of the best drivers I've ever seen. If you ever needed proof of that, you saw it last night. Uh, I think the unlucky runner of the race was Desperate Comment, the Victoria Cup winner. Uh, Graham Lang took all the cheap runs on him and just didn't get the right breaks at the right time. He'll go to Adelaide now for the Inter Dominion, um, and I think he'll be highly competitive where it's back to a free-for-all series. Going? Well, that has been the, the $64,000 question, Bruce, for about four weeks now. I know Connections will be having a roundtable conference today, um, but the whisper at the track last night was contrary to what everyone thinks. Everyone thought the horse wouldn't be going. I believe he will go to Adelaide. Uh, which will be a tough task for him. He's only a four-year-old. As you can see, he's a bit field shy. I mean, what we didn't see on the tape there was that he actually galloped on the second turn last night for no apparent reason. Uh, uh, Ricky mm. May pulled the hobble shortness and he lost 20 yards, and that probably cost him the race. OK. Well, Neil, I know that surprise package is going to go because you spoke to Barry Purden after the race of the train and you asked him to compare this horse with some of the other greats he's had in the past. Uh, well, it's hard to compare, Neil. They're all great on their, you know, on their big occasions when they do win a big race. Uh, he'd rank right up there. I'd, uh, without, you know, saying anything disrespectful about any of them, I think Chaken would still rank uh, as, as number, number one. one. Yeah. You're going to Adelaide now, and will he get through a series like that if you are? 
That's the big question. Now, we are going because uh, there's a pool right by the track there where we're staying, so we're going to uh, box on at the stage. It's pretty hard not to go now, Neil. Yeah, it is. So uh, we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. Barry, congratulations. Thanks very much, Neil. Obviously delighted, Neil. So uh, he's off. Iracles looks like you think he'll be off, and a desperate comment will be there. It'll be a terrific series, mate, and we'll be keeping up to date with uh, you and Adam throughout that series in Adelaide. Thanks, Bruce. Pleased to be with you. Good on you, Neil Donnelly. There after the terrific race, the uh, four hundred and fifty thousand dollar Hunter Cup last night from Melbourne. A break back with more, including uh, a terrific interview with Greg Norman, Trevor Hendy, and Kieran Perkins. I'm not one to take my troubles off the golf course, but you walk into a hotel room and you, you, your wife looks at you and you, she says, oh, you had a bad day? That's it. Don't even talk to me about golf again tonight, all right?